Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another new release unboxing and flip through video. Today we're taking a look at Kyle Gray's new release of the Angel Guide Oracle. 44 cards and a guidebook. Artwork is by Jennifer Hockard. Hawk Hockyard? Hockyard, sure. Published by Hay House and it retails for $19.99. Um, my box kind of got... Uh, dented up i believe through shipping so oh well what you gonna do <laughs> the, the angel guide oracle is a bridge between heaven and earth bringing together 44 images of guardian angels with insightful supportive and healing keyword messages when your heart sinks tra seeks transformation when your soul seeks truth call upon your angels wisdom and their infinite compassion will lead you on your path so um, I will link where you can purchase this down in the description box below. I'm not sponsored or affiliated um, for this. Just want you guys to find what you're looking for and find it fast. So let's get into it. Oh, thank your angels for reminding me of your presence and for revealing to me what I need to know. I'm willing to listen and receive and so it is. Interesting. So I've said it before. I'm not one that really gets drawn to the angel decks. However, I really like Kyle Gray's other decks that I've purchased from him. So I was excited that he came out with a new one. So um, I really like his angels and ancestors a lot. I find that one for me anyway, um, really accurate, like scary accurate for me. So um, I really do like it. So let's check this one out. Um, so it says how to use, and then the deck is um, explained, bonding, and then we have readings, and I guess reverse cards maybe, and then uh, some spreads, and then the, the interpretations of the cards. All right, so let's see. How to use your cards. Let's see, these cards will help you uncover the incredible bond you have with your angel guide, or rather remember that bond. The truth is that getting to know angels isn't a learning experience, it's remembering. Once before you were in your body, you danced with your angels among the stars. When you feel drawn to work with them, it's because you're remembering on a soul level. Angel cards can help you make a conscious connection with your angels and with the angel guide oracle deck, your angel guide will direct you to pick the cards that you most need at the time. The more open you become to the guidance of your angel, the more accurate your readings will be. All right. The intention behind the diverse images is to activate your own intuition and clairvoyance. The angels are depicted in many different ways, and the ones that you are most drawn to will represent and even reflect the actual angels who are working with you at this time and in this lifetime. The angels remained unnamed, as mentioned earlier, as they represent guardian angels and are open to your own intuitive insight and interpretation. All right, the messages on the cards are starting points that encourage you to be alert for any more detailed messages. Okay, alrighty. And then we have bonding and connecting. I wanted to see um, what they said about the reversed cards. Um, I will always have my whole deck upright when I'm reading, but now and then when a card is turned over, it will, um, it's important to take note of that. Okay, so there's no like reverse meanings as far as I see. All right, so we have a daily card pool, strength, heart, and challenge spread, a nine card spread, and that's it. All right, so before we get into the meanings, let's take the flip through of cards here. Shuffle, we'll see how that goes, and then um, we shall pull a card to read from the book. Angelic protection, okay. So they are a little glossy. Oh, let's look at the back. Well, that's pretty. It's almost like a butterfly. Hmm. Oh, I like that one. She's very calm. They're glossy. Cardstock feels pretty good. It feels like your standard um, Hay House Oracle cardstock. I don't know if you can tell because of the ring light, let's see. But like the way that it is rendered here, the artwork, there we go. It's really cool, really neat. Now 
they all have such like, like uh, gentle, friendly faces, which is nice. Because I know there are a lot of you out there that do not like <laughs> realistic faces in your cards, which makes sense. There's some that are unsettling, I'm not going to lie. But these so far are really nice. <laughs> it's cute. Well, they weren't kidding with it being diverse, so that's exciting. Oh, that one's beautiful. Look at the wing detail. Her hair, oh, so pretty. Ooh. I like the, uh, the words here, the cards. That's nice. There are no borders, which is nice too because you then get really immersed into the artwork oh that's a nice card too all right so i am actually enjoying these i was really curious to see how the faces were going to be because yeah sometimes they're not really uh they kind of wig you out, you know? I'm loving the art style. Oh, so we have a no. I wonder if we'll have a yes. like all the color. Very cool. This is really neat. I apologize for the kids playing if you can hear them. that time in the evening where everybody wants to get in their last little uh, evening play time with the kids room I don't know why but this guy's giving me a lot of like elf from Lord of the Rings vibes it's not a bad thing <laughs> definitely not a bad thing he's very beautiful They're all beautifully done. Like, they're not really giving me creepy vibes at all. I'm loving the diversity. I'm loving the different, like, themes of the cards. This is cool, too. Transformation. Look at that. Ooh. Trust the universe. Okay, and then we got one more. And we do have a yes. All right. So the, with the um, with the gloss coating, they did stick a little bit, and the fact that you know it's been in transit. So if I remember correctly, this was just released today, September first. So um, super excited to finally receive it. I was going back and forth whether or not I really wanted to purchase it because again. I really like uh, Kyle Gray's work, but um, it was one of those things where, oh, it's angels. I'm not really like drawn to angel decks, but you know, I'm gonna try. And you guys are interested, so had to had to see what it was all about. So I'm interested if you guys have this on your list or if you guys are um, having it come to you what you think about it let's see there was no card that wanted to pop out let's see can i get just one card let's pop out 
Usually one does right away, so someone's being picky. All right, we're gonna do clear, cancel, and release. Let's check this one out. Okay. Clear, cancel, and release. So there's no numbers on the card, which is not really a bad thing, but the guidebook has a clear index or a in, um, table of contents. So um, you can find it really quickly and turn to the page. And it looks like it's also in alphabetical order. So we're good. All right. The message says you are being guided to clear your life and energy of any negative or challenging people, situations, or events. It's time to release any old ideas, negative thought patterns, or even sarcastic comments you may be using to put yourself down. Angel wisdom wants you to recognize and realize the power of your words, thoughts, and intentions. If you are saying something even jokingly uh, about yourself that might have a negative effect on you or express something you wish wasn't real, you are being encouraged to be more loving toward yourselves. Angels are guiding you to clear, cancel, and release anything you no longer want or need in order to make room for love, positivity, and peace. And there's an extended message that says, whenever you have a negative thought or say something you, you then wish you hadn't, you have the capacity to remove that idea or energy from your own energy, okay, by saying the powerful affirmation, clear, cancel, release. Angels are ready and willing to help you clear anything that could be standing between you and inner peace. When you draw this card, you are being um, also being encouraged to clear any clutter from your life. If there is dust building up or stuff accumulating in your home, office, car, or anywhere else you spend time, clear it now. Okay, why do I feel like I was meant to have this card right now? I feel very attacked. <laughs> When you clear physical space, you clear psychic space. Very true. Making these simple changes will clear your energy and open you up to experiencing a sense of clarity and freedom. Okay, so my final thoughts. It's a very beginner-friendly deck. It's a very um, inclusive deck. It's a very informative guidebook as well. So there's a lot of information here for you. Um, and I feel like it's just very loving. It's very much a positive deck, which is fantastic. Um, the faces, some of them were like, you know, I could see them being a little unnerving for some people. Um, but to me, I really actually connected really fast with this deck. Um, the colors, like this one's a little unnerving to me. I don't know why. I feel like maybe just her features are a little too big or his features. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Some of them are a little unnerving. I'm not going to lie, but I feel like that's the case with a lot of, um, human decks when there's a lot of different faces in the decks. Um, cause it is, it's weird to, you know, look into different faces when you're doing, um, divination. That's all. But I feel like, yeah, like I connected really well with this deck. Um, I love the artwork. I love all the vibrant, beautiful colors. I love the positivity in this deck. I feel like there, it just emanates positivity, which is something like this is such a beautiful card to me. Different perspective, so much fun, like so much happiness. I feel like that's one of the, the things that we need right now in the world. And when we're working, um, we're doing, um, healing and divination is more positive, uplifting decks. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, I just want to be around those more. Um, I feel like they they act as kind of like a, um, that, uh, not a vacuum, but what is that? Uh, what do I want to say? Like it just like a sponge, it soaks up the, the negativity and then you just focus on the beautiful positivity that's here. So I think these would be fantastic for like a card a day. I feel like they'd be great for journaling. I feel like they're also great if you just had a bad day and you just want to maybe focus on why you had a bad day or why you're feeling a certain way. I feel like this could give you a little bit more insight into that. And I love how it gives you like a little um, call to action, so to speak, like clearing the clutter or, you know, um, making sure that you know that, um, you know, you don't have to sit there and obsess over something that you said. Like you can 
clear that away so uh, as far as this card went okay i know sybil i know so um i'm curious to know what you think i think this deck is well worth the price tag i'm pretty sure um, if you guys went on Hay House uh, last couple weeks, they had a 50% off sale. I believe this deck was a part of it. I'm sure you can still purchase this deck currently for a decent sale as well since it's a new release. So anyway, like I said, let me know what you think about this deck down in the comment section. I'm curious to know um, what your thoughts are. If this is something that you are drawn to or if it just freaks you out, let me know. I always love hearing your guys' opinions and what you think. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. And again, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. You guys make my day, you make me feel special. <laughs> I appreciate you all so much. So I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.